Abraham and his only begotten son have arrived at the place God appointed for sacrifice to Mount Moriah. Isaac's been carrying the wood. Now Abraham arranges that wood on the altar and then binds his son to lay him on the wood to be consumed by the fire to the point of death. All right. Abraham's old. Really old. Ancient. Like 130 years old. Isaac is young. Like 30-some years old. Isaac could have easily overpowered his father. But the son willingly submits to being sacrificed. Of course, I'm talking about Isaac and Jesus here. Both sons willingly allow the father to sacrifice them, having been laid on the wood of the altar. Both sons know that when they are sacrificed, after they have died on the wood, they will be resurrected. The fathers have confessed this, and the sons have allowed themselves to be sacrificed. Now the story takes an unexpected twist. God calls out to Abraham not to sacrifice his only begotten son. It's not going to be the case for Jesus. For Isaac, a substitute is provided. The substitute is a ram caught in the thickets by his horns. The ram is a male lamb. Thicket is thorns. Horns are on the head of the lamb. <laughs> you can't miss this one. Jesus is the substitute sacrifice, the male lamb with a crown of thorns on his head. And he sacrificed in your place, like the ram in the place of Isaac. God has provided his lamb to be sacrificed to take away the sins of the world, to take away your sins. By Jesus' sacrificial death, forgiveness is yours. And you are spared from eternal death in the burning fires of hell. The Father has offered the lamb in your place, just as Abraham offered the ram in the place of Isaac. Now, having offered the sacrifice, Abraham calls his place, On the mountain of the Lord it shall be provided. At least that's how most English translations translate it. But if you look close in the footnotes to the text, you're going to see an amazing thing. See, the Hebrew could be translated, on the mountain, the Lord will be seen. <laughs> on this mountain, on this very mountain, Mount Moriah, the Lord will be seen as the thorn-crowned Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world by his willing sacrificial death on the wood of the cross. Here on this mountain, the only begotten Son of the Father, Jesus Christ, will be seen, seen dying in your place for you. And remember how much the account begins with foreshadowing of the resurrection? Three days, we will return. Well, after three days dead in the tomb, Jesus returned to life. Just as Abraham and Isaac believed in a resurrection after death, so can you, because the lamb who was slain has also been resurrected for you. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.